All right, it's a $10 billion business with 100 million people worldwide participating. We're talking about bowling, of course. And our main man, Mike Randall, checks in with Hamburg, a Hamburg Bowling Center, celebrating a very big yeah. anniversary. It's been here on Buffalo Street in Hamburg since 1942. My father took it over in um, 1945. For Howard Bray Miller, it's been his home away from home for a long time. I was five, six years old, and uh, that's, that's when I started to bowl at five or six. These eight lanes see plenty of action, with as many as a thousand people coming through each week. Judy Williams and her team are especially fond of Bray Miller's lanes. What do you like about this, this place? It's small. We love Howie and Howie. Yeah. There's a lot of history here. Pictures of pin setters back when it was a job, not a machine. These guys, before the bowler bowled, he'd have to jump up here. There's Howard's brother, Lee, considered one of the top bowlers in the country in the 1950s. And he traveled around the country bowling. And uh, they would have match games back then in those days. The building itself didn't start out as a bowling center. Uh, originally, if you go way back, okay. it was a carriage shop, like a horse-drawn carriage shop. Okay. Howard was going to retire to Florida, but found retirement not that much fun. I missed the most when I, when I left it, is talking to everybody. Like, I, I know everybody that comes in, and if they don't know him, I make an effort to go up and know him. Howard's father didn't like retirement either. Maybe it's genetic. <laughs> Howard's son, Howie, take it all over one day. The people come here to have a good time, and uh, even when I come to work, uh, I have a good time, you know. I get to talk to my, my, all my friends and uh, camaraderie. With bowling increasing in popularity, new bowlers are coming along every day. And thanks to the fancy bumpers and this launching ramp, kids as young as three years old can bowl now. Geronimo! Happy 80th anniversary to Hamburg's oldest business, Bray Miller's Lanes. No gutter ball. That's pretty good for me. Where it's still about having fun and making friends. The more friends, the better. <laughs> Mike Randall, 7 News, Hamburg.